So we have come to the part of testing the lead form itself. How can we receive the data inside of UChat? And this is a really easy way for testing lead forms. And you can go towards developers.facebook.com slash tools slash lead ads testing. Also put a link down in the video description. Also show it on screen. So you can just go there yourself. And if you select your correct page, all the lead forms that you created, and as you can see, my lead form demo from the previous video just showed up. And I can just preview this form if I like to. As you can see here, I can just fill everything in. And you will see that all my data has automatically been populated. First name, last name, email, and also my phone number, as you can see here. And I can just go and press next. Actually, my phone number is not correct here, so I will change that after this video. But this is something that you can preview directly onto this Meta for Developers page. You can also create a lead itself directly and by just going with create lead. And this will create a lead and will send all the data back towards you, Chad. But before we do, we need to set up an automation for this. So let's go and head over into you, Chad. I just created a flow called Facebook Lead Gen, as you can see here. And instead of going all the way towards automations and triggers, we now have a really convenient way of going and creating such a trigger. We can just press the start node. And from here, we can go with add an item, add a trigger. And from here, we are going to search for the Facebook lead gen. We're going to enable this. We're pressing the enable. And then we can save the data that we get back from Meta inside of custom fields. So we have the webhook payload, which contains all the data. We can save that towards a custom field. And I have a custom field called Facebook lead gen data. And we can also map the individual lead gen ID and the lead form ID. So let's just map that towards the custom fields that I set up. Go. And then lead form ID. You can also implement certain filters if you like to, if you want to exclude certain uh, people pressing the lead forms, signing up for the lead forms, and you want to exclude them from the automation inside your UChat uh, chatbot, that is also possible. But I will leave this blank for now. You can also add a note for this trigger to have a little bit more of a context what this trigger does. But for now, let's just press save. And now we have the Facebook lead gen trigger enabled on this, um, on this flow directly, right? Next part is, soon as this has been triggered, we need to fetch the user's details. So the way to do that, we are go first going to preview the preload preview data. And we are just going to do that by outputting the entire payload. So we are going with uh, lead gen. So let's go lead gen and data. What's this one? So let's go with just saving everything and just output this because we want to test this data and we need to set up our automation on this. So we need to have some sample data in coming in. So since I set up the admin to go towards my Facebook profile, my messenger profile, I should receive all the data there as soon as I press the button create lead. So let's take a look and see if this works. So let's say create a lead and your lead has been sent. To create a new lead, please delete this one. So let's head over towards my Facebook Messenger profile to see if I received the payload. So as you can see, I received my payload. I just went into the live chat, just as easy. And you will see that we have the created time, we have the lead gen, we have the page ID, and we also have the form ID. So we can base our automations on this. So if we say we are going to grab the lead gen ID for an example purpose, and we go back towards the lead gen flow. So let's head in there, open the flow, and let's go with just leading this step for now. And then we can go with an API action. Inside this API action, let's call this fetch lead gen uh, data. We can go with advanced actions. And if we scroll down, we will see the Facebook API. We can just press this. And then we can go towards edit actions. And we are, now we are needing to search for a specific action. So if we scroll down, we will come 
towards the section of Facebook page ads. And here we can get the lead gen. Inside the lead gen, we will need the lead gen ID, which we stored in the payload. So if we say lead gen, and let's go with lead gen ID, then we can also give it a test value to see what we get back. And if we say test request, and you will see that we get quite some information back. And it might be a little bit gibberish, but if we just unfold the values on each individual node, so if we go with the first name, you will see that this is a test lead dummy for data first name because I just tested it as such. Normally this will require you to get the actual name of the user and this will also be test lead dummy data for last name. This will be the last name. You will have the email and we will have the phone number. You can map all of these individual items. So if we say we want to map the first first name value, then we can map that directly towards the first name system field if you like to, or to your own custom field, right? So that is something that you could do. So you could also say we are going with a lead gen, and then let's say first underscore name to just map this towards a specific section. We can do the same for last name. So don't forget to press add to let it show up on the bottom. We can do the same for last name. So let's say lead gen, then last name. So let's go with text and press add. Then we can go with the email value. So let's go again for lead gen and then let's say email. Let's call this text. There we go. And then we also have the phone number, right? So we can map this towards a lead gen. And let's say phone. We can call this a number field. There we go. Press add. And now we have mapped all the data of this specific uh, lead. You can also map the time if you like to. So if we scroll down, you will also see the created time, which you can directly map towards the user towards a user field and then export all the data towards a Google Sheet, for example, if you so wish to. I will just leave it for as is for now and then press save because I have all the information that I need. And from this point, we are able to do a lot of automations. So in the next video, we will show you how you can send a WhatsApp message template towards this new lead.